Ecclesiastes chapter 42. Of these things be not thou ashamed, and accept no person to sin thereby. Of the law of the Most High, and his covenant, and of judgment to justify the ungodly, of reckoning with thy partners and travelers, or of the gift of heritage of friends, of exactness of balance and weights, or of getting much or little, and of merchants indifferent selling, and of much correction of children, and to make the sight of an evil servant to bleed. Sure keeping is good where an evil wife is, and shut up where many hands are. Deliver all things in number and weight, and put all in writing that thou givest out or receivest in. Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish, and the extreme agent that contendeth with those that are young. Thus shalt thou be truly learned, and approved of all men living. The father waketh for the daughter, when no man knoweth, and the care for her taketh away sleep. When she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age, and being married, lest she should be hated. In her virginity, lest she should be defiled and gotten a child in her father's house, and having an husband, that she should misbehave herself, and when she is married, that she should be barren. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter, lest she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies, and a byword in the city, and a reproach among the people, and make thee ashamed before the multitude. Behold not everybody's beauty, and seek not in the midst of women, for from garments cometh a moth, and from women wickedness. Better is the churlishness of a man than a fortress woman, a woman, I say, which bringeth shame and reproach. I will now remember the works of the Lord, and declare the things that I have seen. In the words of the Lord are his works. The sun that giveth light looketh upon all things, and the work thereof is full of the glory of the Lord. The Lord hath not given power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works, which the Almighty Lord firmly settled, that whatsoever is might be established for his glory. He seeketh out the deep and the heart, and considereth their crafty devices. For the Lord knoweth all that may be known, and he beholdeth the signs of the world. He declareth the things that are past and for to come, and revealeth the steps of hidden things. No thought escapeth him, neither any word is hidden from him. He hath garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished, and he hath no need of any counselor. Oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spot. All these things live and remain forever for all uses, and they are all obedient. All things are double one against another, and he hath made nothing imperfect. One thing establisheth the good or another, and who shall be filled with beholding his glory?